Hey guys, what's going on? So a few of you have asked me about my video production workflow. More specifically, how long does it take to film a video and how long does it take to edit? I think from a viewer's perspective, this is sort of the most time consuming sort of portions of getting a video out, but by far the biggest time suck when it comes to getting a video out for you guys is the testing that goes into that video. Sometimes this can take almost 40 or 50 hours. Now, my videos usually compare CPUs, GPUs, motherboards, and that involves lots of swapping out of components and whatnot. So to make this process a little bit more streamlined, I reached out to Streecom to check out their BC1 open bench table. This is a design collaboration between competitive overclockers from HWBot and Overclocking TV and Streecom themselves. The result is a beautifully finished aluminium hardware test bench designed for enthusiast overclockers and hardware testers. The best part about the BC1 is that it can be torn down to a flat packed layout for transport in just a couple minutes, meaning that if you need to take it to venues or perhaps overseas even, you could fit this into a regular backpack. Also forget about losing any screws because all of them and the standoffs mount to the aluminium frame, which means that you'll never lose a single thing. Something that was a big issue for me when I was working with mid towers as a test system. Now, one of the first things that I noticed with the open bench table was just how well built it is. Seriously, this thing is an absolute tank and building it up to the point that you see here only takes a few minutes. The main components being the frame, which the motherboard mounts to supporting ITX, micro ATX and ATX boards, and the two stands that secure via thumb screws. Securing these are super easy since it's a completely toolless design. Next up are the motherboard standoffs and here we've got two options. There's a push pin standoff for securing things quickly when you know the bench isn't going to be moving around and you've got your traditional threaded standoff which is secured via a Phillips thumb screw. I used a mix of both with screws on the corners and push pins everywhere else as this way the board is secured well enough without taking too long to mount. Next up are the PCI Express mounting pins. You get four here which is enough for up to four PCI Express devices if you use one mounting pin per device which I'd recommend highly otherwise you run into some clearance issues with the ports but one supporting pin gets the job done well enough. Now this this is an aspect of the open bench table that I absolutely love. There's no more trying to leverage a card inside a case and trying to line up the PCI Express slots. Here, installing a card on the BC1 only takes a few seconds. Now it's time to populate the test bench with some hardware. Hardware that stays consistent between the hardware that we're testing. The first order of business is the power supply, and here we're going with Be Quiet's 1000 watt straight power 11, an 80 plus gold rated 1000 watt power supply with plenty of connectors for multi GPU configurations and power hungry CPUs. The Silent Wings fan will help keep things quiet as well if the unit ever does start to warm up. The modularity keeps things from getting too messy, and I am planning on custom sleeving these down the road. Next up are the drives, and here I'm going with a 1TB 860 EVO from Samsung for my game benchmark library, and then a separate boot drive for each chipset so there's no mixing of drivers and programs. There's room for up to two drives here, whether that be 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch, and they mount underneath the body again with thumb screws. Again, this is a big step up in efficiency from either having the drive free floating on an open system or having to install the drives inside a case which can take a bit of time. The last piece of hardware that will pretty much stay consistent at least throughout CPU and GPU testing is a powerful enough CPU cooler. And here I'm using a 240 millimeter liquid AIO, the Kraken X52 from NZXT. Now you can mount up to two AIOs on either end of the BC1 using the brackets that you'll find secured on the inside of the frame. They do rotate as well, which allows for compatibility for pretty much any 240 mil rad. And you can technically fit a 280 mil rad here by using the middle mounting point. It just won't be as secure as a 240. And so here's an example of a CPU test bench that I assembled in my last video to take the Ryzen 2600 and 2700X through a ton of benchmarks in Adobe's Premiere Pro. Video in the top right hand corner if you guys wanna check that out. And the best part about the BC1 is that I could simply swap the X470 motherboard to something else within just a couple of minutes. Cable management can also be achieved with the leftover holes in the frame and a couple of zip ties. And in the end, we have an ultra clean setup for testing. 
So compared to my previous testing setup with the motherboard on the motherboard box, the power supply sliding around next to it, and then the drives connected to wherever, it's definitely a breath of fresh air to have this compact frame where everything can be efficiently and safely connected. And compared to having the test system in a mid tower, again, there's no fiddling around with tiny motherboard screws as everything is completely toolless here. And it's the compactness and ease of use of the BC1 which makes it a much better option. So the BC1 open bench table, who is this actually for? Well, at 159 US dollars, it really is reserved for enthusiasts, I feel. So people like me who have a hardware channel where testing is a big chunk of the videos and workflow that I do, having a bench table like this just makes the testing process a lot more streamlined and at least for me, a lot more enjoyable. Enthusiast overclockers are also a big chunk of the market for the open bench table. This way you can fold it up and put it in your backpack and take it to events across the world and you can build it up to a tank within a couple minutes and you're good to go. And another use case for the BC1 would be those who actually build systems for a living and might be building you know, one or two systems per day. This way you could test the components and populate a complete system on here with the tallest design and surely that could save you a ton of headaches and time as well. And so the goal for me would be to have a couple of these, one for an Intel based system and then another one for an AMD based system. So that way I wouldn't even need to swap the motherboards or the drives either. I'd love to hear what you guys think down below of the BC1 open bench table. I understand that most of you won't be looking to buy something like this, but it's more so for enthusiasts out there and also just a piece of hardware that I wanted to share with you guys because over the last couple of weeks, I have been thoroughly impressed with it. So feel free to check it out in the links down below. As always guys, a huge thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one.